All right. Good evening, folks. It's six o'clock. I will call the 12th regular Common Council meeting to order. Will the clerk state the quote of the evening? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Things turn out best for the people who make the best of the way things turn out. Thank you. Will the clerk state the uh, call the roll? Alderperson Ballinger. Here. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Excused. Alderperson Heideman. Here. Alderperson Lefebvre. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Perella. Here. Alderperson Peterson. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Excused. Alderperson Rust. Present. There are eight present. Thank you. If folks could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Alder Deckers, there a motion to approve the minutes from our previous meeting. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from the 11th regular council meeting held on September 16, 2024. Moved and seconded. All those in favor of approving the minutes, state aye. 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 Any objections? Minutes are approved. Next, we have the Board of Water Commissioners election. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if two or more candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. It's been moved and seconded. Are there any nominations? Alder Decker? I nominate Richard Dale. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, Alder Decker? I move that the city clerk be instructed to cast the unanimous, unanimous ballot for Richard Dale as representative on the Sheboygan Board of Water Commissioners. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Any objections? All right, Richard, congratulations. <laughs> Next is confirmation of a mayoral appointment, city attorney. The mayor submits the following appointments for your confirmation, Aaron Bremser to be considered for appointment to the Mead Public Library Board of Trustees and Maya Chang to be considered for appointment to the Mayor's International Committee. Thank you, Alder Decker. I move to confirm. Second. Moved and seconded. All right, this is a roll call vote. Eight eyes. Thank you. Those are that's approved. City Clerk, anyone for public forum? No one this evening. Thank you. Mayor's announcements. Just a few announcements uh, for this evening. Um, the Mayor's International Committee uh, is keeping very busy uh, with several events uh, coming down uh, really fast. So this Saturday, uh, the Mayor's International Committee is hosting our first ever uh, sister city um, event focused on our Japanese sister city, Subame. This event will take place Saturday, September 21st, uh, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at Christopher Farms and Gardens. We're calling this a journey to Japan, which marks the 28th anniversary of the sister city partnership between Sheboygan and Tsubame. This event uh, has several events, which will include um, kendo demonstrations, tea tasting, origami workshops, live performances, uh, raffles, and um, just fun all around. So, Check out uh, City's Facebook page uh, as well as the City website for more information and to purchase tickets. Another event uh, that the Mayor's International Committee will be hosting is Esslingen Fest, uh, which will be on October 5th, Saturday, October 5th. This event uh, will be our biggest Esslingen Fest yet. We'll be partnering with Three Sheeps, Blue Harbor, uh, Johnsonville, as well as the Inter Mayor's International Committee um, to host uh, this uh, event celebrating our German sister city from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Three Sheeps Brewing. So this is uh, uh, gonna be compounded with um, the Oktoberfest celebration at Three Sheeps as well that Saturday as well. So more information, city website, Facebook page as well for more information. Coming up, um, and there's an item on the agenda to support this event, uh, the Business Improvement District on September 21st will be hosting uh, Riverfest. This is an annual event to highlight many of our businesses um, and organizations on the riverfront. So music, food, vendors, and fun for that one. And also just of a special note, I uh, want to uh, recognize it is Alder Perella's birthday today. So happy birthday, Alder Perella as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, those, that concludes uh, my announcements for this evening. We'll jump into the consent agenda. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion on any of the items on the consent agenda? All right, seeing none, this will be a roll call vote. Eight ayes. Uh, those items are approved. Next, report of officers, item 20 through 22 will be referred to their respective committees. Item 23 will lay over. Next, item 24, resolution number 79, 24, 25 by Elders Decker and Rust, authorizing a contract between the City of Sheboygan and CISAID Technologies for Information Technology Help Desk Software. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I ask to suspend the rules. Any objections? Seeing none, please proceed with your motion. I move to adopt the resolution. Second. Moved and seconded. Alder Bellinger. I would just like for the public to uh, be made aware of why we're suspending the rules, please. Uh, T Director? Or, yeah. Uh, city Administrator, excuse me. Yes, this was um, for a quote that was only good for 30 days, so we weren't able to get a longer quote. So to get it within the time frame and still get the pricing that they quoted us, we had to um, ask to suspend the rules to get it approved. Thank you. Yes. Holder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I guess just generally I'd ask for a little bit more background on the software, uh, what the major features are that we're planning to utilize in the city and how that's going to help bolster the work of the IT department. And outside of the general question, more specifically, there's a line item for team view administrators. Does that mean that we are putting team view on all the city devices, or team viewer, rather? Director it, Greenwood. It's an option that we'll be able to utilize. Can you lower your mic? To. We will be able to utilize the team viewer if we choose to. Uh, the software in general, though, is a ticket system uh, that also will allow us to do PC inventory um, as well as remote access. Um, yeah, so it is going to be a consolidation of a few different um, software packages that we're currently utilizing. So we'll be able to replace uh, four different project products with this one. So, and it'll give uh, the department's uh, visibility into the status of their tickets and know um, the progress of them as they're moving along through the system. Thank you. All right, any other questions? Alder Perla? Yeah, thank you for that. And uh, is that is this going to um, is is this going to be only for internal customers or also for external customers? It'll be for any of the city-owned PC hardware. Uh, one of the big advantages of this one, um, if users are off of the city network, we'll still be able to support them. That was the limitation of the previous remote access that we had in place. So if some if I if I need help. As an other person on my laptop, you will be able to help me remotely? Yes, and it will be with a attended remote access, so it would be something that we'd be working with you, like a screen share. It's not an unattended one where we can access it without your um, you being present. Okay, thank you. All right, seeing no more cues on this one, this is a roll call vote. Eight eyes. Uh, that is approved. Items 25 through 28 will be referred to their respective committees. Next, item 29, RC number 106, 2425 by the Public Works Committee, to whom was referred direct referral resolution number 75, 2425 by all the persons Decker and Rust allowing Swilling Airstream to be parked in front of Relish Kitchen Store at 811 North 8th Street on October 5th. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion on this item? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote.
Eight ayes. That is approved. Items 30, RC number 109-2425 by the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee to whom was referred General Ordinance number 17-2425 by Elder Persons Russ and Lefebvre amending various sections of Sheboygan Municipal Code as to improve and clarify interpretation. Elder Rust. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adopt the ordinance. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion on this item? Elder Prella? I have just a quick question about one of the changes. Um, I believe it is the section 2799C. Uh, what does, what does um, this mean? Other written or printed matters is adopted by reference. So whenever in, in this code, any standard code, rule, regulation, statute, or other written or printed matter is adopted by reference, it shall be deemed incorporated in this code, et cetera. City Attorney, you wanna take that one? Sure, so uh, you will occasionally see in documents that uh, you have that we adopt certain things by reference. What that means is, uh, I'll, I'll just give an example. We've adopted the entire International Property Maintenance Code. The code is not printed in our municipal code. We've adopted it by reference. So we refer to our, to our adopting it. It is adopted. Copies are kept in the clerk's office so that people can get copies of those things if they want. This is especially used uh, in some of our code. Uh, some of our code enforcement codes are actually copyright, uh, and we're allowed to adopt them uh, but we're, we, ha we can't just simply print them out ourselves on our, in our code. Oh, okay, but they will be um, explained when we adopt it. Yes. Okay, okay, very good, thank you. All right, seeing no more cues, this is a roll call vote. Eight ayes. That's approved, item 31. RC number 982425 by the Public Works Committee, to whom was referred 692425 by Elder Persons Deckard Ramey, authorizing a contract between the City of Sheboygan and Molo for Marina Management Software regarding transit and annual Marina slip leases at the Marina. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Moved and seconded discussion on this item. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, apparently, if it's software, I have to ask a question. Uh, Two-parter again, I'm, and I, if memory serves, this is what I was told in the past, Tyler Muniz doesn't offer any similar solution that's catered toward marine operations. Is that accurate? Come on, Travis cued in, let him speak. That is accurate, yes. <laughs> Thank you. And then, if I may have one more. Yep. Uh, was the IT department involved in picking this particular software package at all? I believe so, yes. That's the first time I've gotten a yes to that answer, so I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> Thank and, you. And for the record, uh, Director Greenwood is nodding his head in, in confirmation. <laughs> so. All right, uh, Alder Prella. Yeah, so what, what will this software do? Director Peterson. Um, it will um, provide a smoother operation for um, uh, transients, uh, staff, and seasonal boaters to manage at the marina. Um, it will, the biggest benefit of the program, it'll uh, be the gain of revenue based upon changing the boats by a boat length, not slip length. It's all a part of the program. Um, and it's specifically designed for marinas. Follow up. Yep. So what is the value added to the external customers, to people? Is there a value added to the external customers, to people, to customers? City Administrator? Yes, one of the limitations we have right now is the reservation system. The system's more accommodating for that, so the external user can um, we can take prepayments and things like that, which we're not able to do on the current software. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's one of the limitations. We can't book very far out in the future. It all has to be done manually now. 
um, with the software, they'll be able to do that as part of the online experience. It, and one more final thing is the, 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 the price, the cost I see on, on the resolution is uh, for a per year or this is one time thing and then there will be a fee. So I don't remember if it is maybe around $8,000, $9,000. Is that just for this year, for the next 12 months? It's an annual fee. Yes. Okay. And that is built into the proposed 2025 budget. All right. Thank you. All right. Any other discussion on this one? All right. Seeing none, this will be a roll call vote. Eight ayes. Uh, that's approved. General ordinances 3233 will be sent to the LHPS committee and we've exhausted the agenda. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adjourn. Aye. Moved and seconded. All right, all those in favor and wishing Alder Perl a happy birthday, state aye. Aye. Any objections? We're adjourned at 616.